You don't get to rush this. Hole in one! When most of you think of the word disappointment, the first thing that's probably going to pop into your head is The Last of Us Part 2. Now, The Last of Us Part 2 isn't bad mechanically, visually, or in the acting department. It's a pretty solid game, except for when you start digging, pulling apart the story and why things happen for what they happen for. Right. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And you have a Neil Druckmann self-insert uh, intercourse scene as well on top of it, which he denied that he mo-capped. And there's video and pictures of him mo-capping his scenes. Now, the game had its trailer release and it was it looked like Joel, our protagonist from the previous game, was gonna be sprinkled throughout the story, maybe as a side character, or he would be protagonist once more, and was killed immediately in the beginning by the hulking behemoth herself, Abby. It wasn't received very well. Uh, that when that got leaked of how the game was gonna go, everyone was pretty pissed. Everyone was not happy because it didn't make a whole lot of sense just to kill our main protagonist that we just got so attached to off so soon, and then have this very shallow feeling revenge story in which in sequences where you would play as Abby, Ellie would still rock your shit, right? Absolutely murder you. I get there's supposed to be punishment for failing in those levels, but it didn't make sense for the story and there's definitely better ways they could have written it. They just refused to do any extra work and did all those self inserts. And Ellie murders a, a absolute ton of people and only at the end were when she actually gets to Abby, um, she decides, you know what? This isn't for me. I'm done. Now, there's probably more you could pick apart there, and there's a lot more going on, but that's that's the, the, the layman's terms of what actually happened. And I know there's going to be someone who is a console fanboy, a PS, a PlayStation fanboy in particular. Keep in mind, there are Xbox fanboys, PlayStation fanboys, PC fanboys. I will call all everyone out. I don't care who it is. It's... It's, like, weird. It's uncomfortable to be around so many people, I swear to God. Because they will defend a corporation tooth and nail that sees them as nothing more than a number, because that's what you are. So, uh, I'm getting too far. Uh, I know there's going to be one of you upset in this. And I don't really care. The Last of Us Part Two Remastered is happening. And The Verge wrote a nice little article right here. The, there are two great reasons to upgrade to The Last of Us Part Two Remastered. God, that is a mouthful. Don't do this. Please don't buy this game. I, unless you are an absolute first-time buyer and you want those exclusive, like, you know, the add-ons, and they really do mean a lot for you, go ahead. If you're a collector, go ahead. But I, would, it's, I find it very difficult to even want to buy this game. I don't see a reason at all. For $50, 50 USD. And it's not full price, I get that. But they just canceled the multiplayer. We already know about that, the multiplayer got scrapped. And there's, they're basically just, they were touting that whole thing about accessibility additions could have been patched in. Pretty much everything could have been patched in, in this list. Everything could have been patched in or a DLC. God of War is doing a great job at handling that right now. So they go on, hey, yeah, I know. It seems way too early for the remaster of The Last of Us Part Two. The game originally launched on the PS4 in 2020 and has already received an update for those playing on PS5. There's no reason. Again, already exists on both consoles. Most games give you a free upgrade and continue to support an update when they have new accessibility options or new options for performance. Most games do a great job with that. This one does not. They are, if you want the upgrades, you're gonna have to pay $50 putting it behind a $50 paywall. Crazy. And they're touting it as a whole other game. And the game's not even four years at, old at this point. It's not like we're, it's like eight or nine years old and it's people are calling for a remaster. I don't think anyone is calling for this to be a remastered except for PlayStation fanboys. And I'm looking at you guys pretty pretty in a pretty judging manner because, dude, what? why would you want to pay $50 for something that's not that old and is very little added to the game? We have things like a guitar mode, they list here, where you can use the controller touchpad to swipe guitar strings. Could have been patched in. They mention uh, they're doing their new Game Plus run, and Ellie's wearing a Death Stranding t-shirt. Could have been patched in. Outfits could have been patched in. And they talk about modifiers and gameplay modifiers to make the game a little less stressful. It's not that big a deal. You have lost levels, 
They add three new loss levels. They also have co a commentary mode, which I have no idea why I would be playing a story game and listening to director's commentary to see what, ha you know, what was going on. There's, it has to be like maybe three or four percent of people are actually going to access this up and use it. Again, I, I've not seen a reason to play this. They add three new uh, levels and unlockable concept art. Lost levels is what they're calling them. And it's just scrapped content they put back into the game. They also have a no return roguelike mode. And again, using the assets that were already there, they just had a new mode. It's nothing special. I, I'm not seeing much of a reason for this to exist. I, I mean, maybe the multiplayer would have been much more to add on to the pile of reasons to buy the game and get into it. But the multiplayer was canceled. It's gone. There's... I, it's there's very little reason to even want to play this because if you already played it the first time uh, Again, there's no reason to play it. It's gonna be the same story and some slightly upgraded visuals We just had that with the last of us part one remastered again, which also released on PC and Ran horribly on PC mod ad. It still runs very awful on PC. Yeah, I mean I'm gonna link the article below I I'm not gonna leave it out. So and just pick out the parts that I wanted to talk about uh, please, uh, if you have a different perspective on it, please let me know in the comments. I'd like to have a discussion about it. Uh, I just don't think this game is worth it at all. Please do not buy this. I would urge you not to waste your money on, unless you are a collector and you're going to get a physical edition. It's, I, I'm not a collector myself. I can't see much of a reason to do it. You already have the game. The game already exists. And they're just sprinkling a few modes to get some extra money out of you. It is a total scam in my opinion at the very least in my opinion i find it to be an absolute scam yeah uh like if you like it dislike if you dislike it i know there are going to be some people who are going to dislike this absolutely and again i'm not taking sides in a console war that's stupid i'm a grown-ass man come on something you need to get real to there are plenty of grown-ass men out there who are arguing on twitter about this game and I, i'm not dude what is wrong with you guys uh, subscribe to stick around. I got plenty of other videos coming up and I have plenty of other videos in my backlog. You can go ahead and watch. See ya.